back to another part of this rotary tool series. In this video we're going to do a short introduction on how to polish metals. So if you have any questions or concerns or just want to correct me in any way, leave a comment in the section below or you can shoot me an email, scrollsawvideo at gmail.com. This is my website, scrollsawvideo.com. I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and like, hit, click the like button below. I appreciate it. Okay, in this video we're going to be using the OEM rotary tool. If you would like, you can go back and watch a previous review on this tool. It's a great review and a great tool. It's very similar to the Dremel. And we also are going to be using the multi-vice made by Dremel. We're going to be using sanding pads, excuse me, polishing pads, the polishing compound, which comes with most Dremel kits. For some reason, this tool came with some polishing pads, but it did not come with a polishing compound. We're going to take this pocket knife. It might be hard in the video to see right now, but this is one I've previously buffed, and this is an old one. So we're going to buff the, uh, the other sides of this pocket knife. I'm going to adjust the camera angle and zoom in to this section so you can have a better view of what I'm doing. Okay, if you noticed, I am using the keyless wrenchless chuck on this OEM rotary tool. Uh, I did do another video introduction to this keyless chuck. If you'd like to watch that, I would encourage it. And I am in, also installed the mandrel that holds buffing pads. Here's two in my hand. And this is like a screw on the end of this mandrel. You would just take the buffing pad and just screw it on. Don't screw it too tight. Once you see it in person you'll you'll understand the concept. There's a hole inside of the buffing pad. So once I have the buffing pad installed on the mandrel I'm going to turn on the buffing pad. I turn on the rotary tool and this is the the wax that came with the one of the Dremel kits so I'm going to load the wax onto this buffing pad just gently apply it Oops. okay now you'll notice this pocket knife. The bottom side is the one I previously polished. This is the one that we're going to do today. So we're just going to gently. I'm going to close this up. Let's go this way. We're going to just gently rub it onto this brass. You can tell how hard you're rubbing by the machine slowing down a little bit. Okay, I have about half of this polished. So I'm going to turn it off here so I can show you. This is the half that's polished, and this is the half that's not. I'm going to take an old rag wipe it off. I'm hoping you can see it in the camera the difference it makes. Rub it off a little bit more. Huge, huge difference. Huge difference. Might be a... Okay, I'm going to finish polishing this up.
Now the speed on my rotary tool is between 1 and 2 on this model. So let's buff this out again with the cloth. You see a huge difference in it now. Huge difference in this. Very easy concept. Very easy concept. Once you do a few, you'll see what a bonus this is going to be for your, for your polishing. Easily can do, if you take it off this work vise, this multi-vise, it's easy to do door hinges, door knobs, just whatever you heck you have around your house, workshop, it needs to be polished up. Here's another bullet style polishing pad. Get in to do some tight corners. Hope you got a little bit of understanding of polishing. If you have any questions, please leave a uh, comment in the comment section below. And if I'm not able to answer it, hopefully one of the other viewers will give it a shot. I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe.